What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you how to demux your shadow play clips to help correct the audio popping and stuttering issue. Now what some people do is they use handbrake to basically re-encode their shadow play clips and then they bring that re-encoded clip into their NLE. But what I do is a much faster process than that. It's called demuxing, and basically you can think of it like this. Each Shadowplay MP4 file is like a container. It's like a zip file. And inside this MP4 file, you have an audio file, and then you have a video file. Demuxing is basically taking the two files out of the one container and giving you those files. All right, so I'm using a program called TS Muxer. It's freeware. I've got it in the description below, a link to it. Once you've got that installed, what you need to do is either click and drag over into here, or you could click Add here, and then you could browse for it like that. Once you bring it into the program, these are the two files inside of this one MP4 container. So you have your 264 file which is the video file and then you have your audio file inside all right and then what you need to do is once you have the program started up it'll be on TS muxing by default likely so you just want to check demux and then you pick a place that you want your demuxed files to save to then you hit start demuxing and it happens really quickly no matter how large your file is it happens very fast all right, so now you've got the place that your files saved to. We have the video file and the audio file. Now go into Vegas, and you click and drag these two files into Vegas. And then you bring them down onto your timeline. So there's the audio, and here's the video. And what you'll notice, if you have the two clips aligned like this, if you go to the end of the clips and zoom in, Look at the video, it extends way out past the audio, and this shows part of the issue of the variable frame rate uh, in relation to the audio. So, however you first import just this file into Vegas, right, and then Vegas tries to handle the audio and the video somehow, I don't know if it's basically internally like stretching time-wise to equal out or what it's doing but um, typically what works for me is I align the clips at the beginning and then I go to the end and then I can just align them like this and then select them both and hit G to group them and yeah so there you go every once in a while though what I'll have to do is uh, finagle there we go. So this is as if I had just brought them in. Um, the audio will still be slightly off from the video track when you align them at the beginning. So you may have to find a moment where, let's say you're typing on a keyboard and you can hear the exact keyboard strokes. You may have to move the audio track uh, around a little bit, zoom way in so that you can move it to very small degrees like this and find like the right point in between. Um, I did have to do that a lot in the beginning. I don't seem to have to do that anymore. I can just align them at the beginning and that seems to be working fine for me. So at the rate of however long it takes you to possibly align the clips, if you have that problem, it may actually be faster for you to <laughs> load up handbrake and do that whole deal. But anyway, this works for me. This is how I correct my audio issues in Sony Vegas with Shadowplay Clips. And once you get this process down, it is very, very simple. So I'm going to remove that clip. I'm going to delete these. Now I'm going to pretend that I just finished recording my Shadowplay Clip and I want to prepare them for Vegas. Go to my folder, drag it in. Everything's selected. I select Demux. My folder location is already saved. I hit Start Demuxing. Boom. I mean, literally 10 seconds, I've got what I need. I bring those into Vegas, bring them down to the timeline there, group them. Very quick, very simple. So give that a shot sometime. Let me know how you fare. Let me know if this works for you uh, in the comments, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.